on my dog there. So you have 106,500 to share out between 40 and 50,000 shares or people. So again, remember you're dividing to yours, keep this as zero. Give me a good few places of decimals because I need, I need two places at the end. So if you decided as a director not to keep any money in the business, which is not a good idea, but if you did decide that, you could have given your shareholders 23.67 cent each. But you are wiser, you decided to give them a good return of 9.44 and you kept the rest of the money in the business. One minute. Okay. Um, the formula here then, just be careful of this formula, it's net profit minus the preference that they have to be paid divided by the number of ordinary shares, OS for ordinary shares. Okay, the fourth one that I'm going to do with you is based on these two and it's called your dividend cover. And basically it's just saying how many times could you have paid your dividend? This is what you paid, this is what you could have paid. So many times could you have paid them? So it's 23.67 cents divided by 9.44 cents tells me how many times I could have actually paid my shareholders. 23.67 divided by 9.44. Then watch your decimal places. It's two.